time ever on that metal show from Motley Crue, Nick Mars. Metal Church is Kurt Vanderhoof. On guitar, former TMS guest and Cinderella frontman, Todd Kiefer. The first concert I ever attended, I'm, I'm pretty sure, was UFO at the Tower Theater in Philadelphia. Ten years after. Grand Funk Railroad, shining on tour 1975. Uh, the Desert Island record for me would probably have to be Exile on Main Street. The Who Live at Leeds. It would be blank. <laughs> Because I can make my own music. This is the section where we're going to pull some kids out of the audience and try to stump Eddie. Again, no hints whatsoever, but I encourage you to poke the bear with Ed. He has one he wants to do. Oh, you want to do it? Um, don't, don't say it out loud. But if you have I won't. One. I, I, yeah, I have one. I like. We have actually a celebrity um, stump the trunk. Who? Uh, it's Mr. Mick Mars. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Is he going to do it from here? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to, like, to hold my head up into the microphone. No, no worries. Unless it, unless it was this tall. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can do it from the chair. We'll do the opposite of Lemmy's mic. We'll put it low and tilt it up yeah. instead of high and down. Lemmy and I together. So the next thing, we have the Mick Mars mic. Mick Mars mic with low and high. high. Oh, or, the, or the Nikki Six mic. Or the, yeah. God, I beat my head up so much. That thing's, that. Oh, you have? That thing's crazy. Yeah, it's dumb. Yeah, it's crazy. At least my head. I, I think he does it on purpose. Too. Well, he punches it and swings it around. I know, and it comes back at me. <laughs> Hours of vocal warm up since what it's been as of late is my pre show ritual. It used to be no set thing, you know, years ago, but since I've had some voice issues, that's, that's the thing that has to happen before I'll set foot on that stage. Mostly I take uh, uh, about a 20 minute kind of a meditation kind of thing, clear out my mind. No pre-show rituals that I can think of, um, you know, maybe a beer to loosen up, but that's really just about as far as it goes. Yeah. You sat my arm so I could get a tattoo, and something like that, oh, oh, with six yeah, events. Oh, okay, yeah, right, right. <laughs> right here, anywhere, <laughs> wherever you want to put it. <laughs> Mick Mars, he's been, always been a big inspiration to me. He reminds me a lot of my father who passed away a couple of years ago because that was his favorite guitar player in his favorite band. All right. Are you going to get a tattoo of that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> I have Nicky Six and Vince Neal signed as well, and I'm going right now to get a tattooed. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. <laughs> have a good everything. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> pretty emotional for him to sign my arm. Just want to say thank you to Mick Mars for being awesome. He goes through so much and he just gives so back to his fans as much as he can. And he rocks and that's it. <laughs> you have influences, but don't try to be them. Be yourself all, all the time and practice a lot. Always be true to what you feel when you're playing your music and not to chase trends. Um, and just be as good at what you are and what is uniquely you as you can be and one day you'll be the trend. I think now with the new music industry, the way it's working now with a lot of the major record label influences gone now, I think it's really important that any artist stays true to themselves without any kind of pressure. Of, you need to look like this, you need to sound like this, and we don't hear a single, we don't do this. Do what's honest with you and keep the music honest and as organic as possible. Yeah, it's dumb.